Peace, y'all. It's Cam Sun. One half of Remnants Gathering. AKA okay, Weirdo Gang Gang. <laughs> um, I hope y'all are doing well. I wanted to go live and you know how that go. It's just not working out that way today. So that's all right because we're going to go with the flow. So I got some new cards. I have my lovely, lovely, lovely Isis Oracle deck that I'll be using. Um, and so this this will be for the collective um, Souls Awakening. What's going on here? Okay. Yes. Yes. So this is who it's going to be for. And so I wanted you all to get to see me today. And um, yeah, then we'll get into the cards, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna pick a deck. You're gonna pick the pal, basically, not the deck. You're gonna pick a pal. And everything from that pal will be from this new deck that I just got. And uh, as you know, I've been working with Isis' energy since Yimiya actually introduced me to her. So we're gonna uh, get it in going to be a really, really good reading. It's going to be a quickie, but a goodie. Okay. So I'm going to shuffle until I get my pal. Kind of needed to fill you all. And so I'm going to do the pals. And then I'm going to let you pick your pal. So this is, I wanted it to be live, I think, but this is as live as it gets right now. So yeah, whatever it is that your soul has been searching for, you know? What is your soul searching for? Or what what is your soul, what are you searching for? And those answers lie within your soul. Okay? This is this is dedicated to your soul. Okay? What message do your soul have for you? Okay. And so you're gonna pick. Mmm. Yeah. That's what we gotta do. Mm hmm What message does your soul have for you? I'm not gonna read any of these beforehand. I'm just shuffling and pulling them out. Okay. Mm, third time. I like it when a card stalks me. I didn't want to pull that card, but I know that I should. Shout out to Ra Shaman. Thank you, beautiful, beautiful queen goddess, for sending me these seashells. You know, I, I love seashells. Like, I really, really like seashells. And when um, I opened the box, everything you sent me, it was just, you know, it was just like, wow. You know, it made me feel, it made me feel special. It did. It made me feel special. So thank you. And I'm going to use your seashells in this reading. So hopefully you'll get a chance to catch this video and do this pick a card for yourself as well. Okay. So here we go. Let's see how this is going to work. We're going to work it out. We're going to work it out. Okay. Don't look too hard. I got to turn my way so you can't even see. Hopefully you can't really see the words, okay? Um, don't be checking my small table either. Ain't got to be no big table. I'm not about doing what the hell works for me. And this is what works for me. So, you know, I don't know who might, you know, I don't know. It don't matter, though. It don't matter. What matters is the content, you know? So pick your pal, okay? This will be pal one. This is pal two. This is pal three. I'm gonna give you a minute to pick your pal. Okay. You pick your pal. One, two, three. Okay. All right. Back to me. Back to me. Okay, here we go. Let's see, let's see, let's see. What do we have here? So I'm going to go ahead and read the first pal, okay? First pal. Well, card, not pal, card. So if you pick this beautiful seashell, this is the first one, okay? You pick this one. This represents 
your divine guardian. Look at that. Ain't that beautiful? This is a time of significant spiritual growth and healing for you. You are pro protected <laughs> during these times by the love and strength of Divine Mother Isis. Just relax and allow your transformation to happen. Your Divine Guardian protects you now. So let go. Trust unconditionally in what is happening for you. As there is only divine love beneath the surface of the present situation. Okay. So, um, yeah, this is, this is just so perfect because, you know, even looking at the picture and she has a scarab here in front of her, but she's just like in this, this pose. She's just in this position where she knows all I have to do is be still. You know, and I'm prepared for whatever open up for me. And so you have divine guardians all around you. If you pick that pile, that means right now you are heavily, heavily, heavily being guarded. Um, I think guarding, I feel like guarding by our spirit guides like steps up when we come to crossroads. And when we come to places where we're finally breaking through thresholds. And so if you pick pal card one. Why do I keep saying pal? If you pick card one, yes, your divine guardian is with you and guiding you. And yes, you are in transformation, but there are some things that are about to happen that's going to require you to trust your spirit guides unconditionally and to be able to trust your higher self unconditionally. Okay. Now, if you pick card two, <laughs> finally got it right. That's this one. That was this one. Okay. This represents divine sun child. Look at that. Mm, I love the images on these. Blessings of the sun flow to you now. It is time to allow your life to flourish without limits, to let your light burn bright and without veil, just like the midsummer sun burning without contest in the Egyptian desert. It is your time to shine bright. You pull this card, you're being called to just step it up. You know, step it up. Stop dimming your light. Just just be who you are. You know, I was thinking the other day, I was just like, oh my goodness, I trip. I shut my fingers up in drawers. Like I do this shit and I'm like, why am I so clumsy? Because I consider myself to be pretty graceful. <laughs> Maybe it's just in my mind. But, you know, again, this just goes back to just shining. My clumsiness is the purpose in it. And that purpose could be for other people to laugh, especially when it's something I didn't really hurt myself. You know, my family, like, they laugh. You know, I trip over something. I'm like, what's the trip over the air? And it's a good laugh, and we just keep it moving. Um, so it could be even, like, in your flaws. Like, let the light shine on those, too. You know, shadow aspects of you. Let the light shine on that and shine in that. You can take shadow aspects and use them as light. You know, that's the ultimate transmutation. So your shadow aspect could be that, you know, like for me, to me, I look weird. I don't look like anybody that I know, you know, I and I've been uncomfortable with that for so long. And so now I used to be so uncomfortable with my side profile. So now it's just like side profile in every picture <laughs> because I'm just allowing my light to shine. You know, it's the unique, quirky things we don't like about ourselves. And those are the things that hold power. So yes, embrace all of you. If you pick three, that was this beautiful, beautiful seashell here. Okay, this is number three. Mm. What do you think you see here? This is the dark mysteries. This word represents dark mysteries. And to me, I see the energy of the dark goddess. It says the dark goddess calls you to her inner chamber where she holds a test and a gift for you. The test is your willingness to meet and release the fears within that have been secretly holding you back. The gift is freedom, peace, opportunity, prosperity in all its forms. Will you accept her call? Your time for deeper initiation is here. You pick three, 
Yes, you are being called to work with dark goddess or the dark mother or dark energy, okay? This is the deep subconscious work, you know? How willing are you to release your fears? How willing are you to let those things go? There's beauty. There's so much beauty behind the things that we fear. And I was so afraid to do tarot card readings, y'all just don't know. And just the encouragement that I get in the comments and the emails and what come through in the readings, you know, it's just like, why was I not doing this before now? You know? So that's you. I'm no different than you, you know? I'm no different than you. We're all on this path. And, you know, and, and just that dark energy, the same way the divine feminine has been hated, dark energy has, because to me, they're synonymous, you know? To me, the subconscious mind is more feminine than the conscious mind, you know? Because it just, it requires more reasoning and thinking when you use your conscious mind. But the subconscious mind is mysterious. It's dark. It's, it's that feminine energy. Um, so I would say work with dark energy, study, study dark energy, you know, and, um, yeah, transmute, you're being called to transmute. So go ahead and allow the transmutation to happen. Okay. You're already in the transformation. You've already been initiated. Go ahead and let it happen. You know, um, it's no point in fear in anything at the end of the day. It's not. And I think about this a lot. What can I do to push the boundaries a little more? What is something I'm uncomfortable doing? What am I fearful of? And then I'm like, you know what? I'm going to do just that. And it takes a lot of courage. It does. But I'm like, nope. Mm -mm. I'm scared of that. I don't know why. I'm just going to do it and see what happens. You know? So, yeah. That's that's your reading. Um, yeah. So, if the pick a card resonated with you, like, share, and subscribe. Hopefully you like my vibe and hopefully you are already part of RG the Weirdo Tribe. But if you are not, you got to catch us when we go on live. And I did not think any of this until now. And I think it's pretty good. And I say that shit with pride. <laughs> oh, I think I'm having a good day today. So I hope you're having a good day today. And if you haven't been, I hope that I gave you a little sunshine. All right. Peace.